G'day and welcome, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at the demo for Isle of Swaps. Now when I came across this game, um, the first thing I thought of was back in the uh, the old school days, trading and, and battling Pokemon cards. You can see this guy here with his little folder and these two in the middle having a bit of a battle. And it just looked really good. So this is like a, a roguelike deck builder, which is in itself one of my uh, favourite things to play. And uh, just this whole nostalgia factor on top of that, just uh, I thought, no, nah, definitely have to try this one out. So here we are. I uh, haven't given it a try yet, so we'll start with a tutorial. To learn the basics of critter challenges and battles from Dotty. Let's learn. It looks like a mix of like Animal Crossing and Pokemon trading card game. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you finally got some critter cards. Let me teach you the basics of how to play. Basically, you take on a challenge, which is a deck of cards of full battles and shops with a boss at the end. Along the way, you'll customize and strengthen your battle deck with critter skill and sticker cards. If you manage to best the boss at the end of the challenge, you'll move on to a tougher challenge. If you can claim victory in three challenges, you'll be the challenge winner. Let's begin a trial challenge. I'll, throw you, I'll show you three cards and you can choose one of them to progress. Give it a try. A <laughs> little handmade board here. Wild battle. Gain a critter and skill card when you win. They're all the same except for, are oh, they obviously the element and they give you different cards. Oh wow, so full creature design with original creatures as well, which is cool. Zeppin, Miesical, Hangolin. I like that, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so we've got attack, we've got shield, we've got HP points, we've got weaknesses, we've got elements. So yeah, very Pokemon card, but enough differences to make it sort of its own thing. Um, I don't know what to pick. I'm going to pick the Electric Zappin. So I'm this dragon thing, Dean of the Dragon. I'm battling the Zappin. Basically, you want to play skill cards from your hand onto a critter of the same element shown by the icon on the top left. Rainbow icon cards can be used by any critter. So this one, for example. Don't use a card play doesn't use a card play, gains one blaze energy. Ah, so these are moves as well, basically. So I'll just go ahead and use one, do you think? Um, I'm gonna give myself an energy. Stronger cards will use the energy generated by weaker skill cards. These cards show which energy they need below the illustration. Gain energy for a flame tackle. Uh, can't do that, okay. Um, oh, it needs a it needs two energy by the looks of fire and then anything. Gotcha, gotcha. Flash burn. Okay, so I've burned him, which will do five damage. Now, if it explodes, ah, at five burn, it will explode. Gotcha. And that gave me two more energy, so I've got three energy now. Critters have power, which is added to the skill cards' damage when they attack. The defense reduces damage taken and adds to skill cards when they do a status effect. Okie dokie. Um, so I've got the power now. I can do a flame tackle. How many moves do I get? Ah, three. Okay, I can play three cards in a turn. I can discard and draw, and I can move my critters around. Let's do this flame tackle. You can play up to three cards each turn, and when you're done, you click the end turn button at the bottom right. You can end your turn at any time you want. Okie dokie. So he attacked me. I have no shield, so he's done a bit of damage there. Now it's back to my turn. Okay, so you sort of lose energy, or do this take the energy? Let me try. Uh, that doesn't cost energy, so I can just do that, right? User loses 5 HP, I didn't notice that. That's okay. 
critter captured. Zephyr and its signature skill Momentum have been added to your binder. Open your battle deck to put it in your active team. Click cards in the binder to add them to your deck. Click the ones in the deck to remove them again. Using more critters requires more skill cards in the deck. Add both energy and attack skill, sorry, attack and energy skill cards. Cool, so this is just the old collectible folder, which I've got a couple of these, uh, full of the original set of the Pokemon cards from <laughs> way back when, which is pretty cool. So I can add this to my deck. But if I do, I need more skill cards. So I need to see if I've got... Okay, I can gain two nature energy. Interesting. I don't see why I have... Why do I have that? I wonder. Gain two of the... Two energy of the user's primary type. Lowest ally heals, 2 HP. That seems pretty good, right? 2 energy and healing. I'm just going to fill up with that. Actually, no, I'm going to see what else I have. Gain 2 Volt energy. Attack all enemy critters. Okay. Uh, I only have one momentum, do I? Um, that'll do. Okay, so it's updated my battle deck. Now it looks like we're going to fight a person here, or an animal. Battle, then swap when you win. Sailor. Okay, so that has a can box, which is a water type. Critters usually attack the critter opposite, so drag your critters to different spots to change their opposing. Attacking a critter with a type it's weak to will increase the damage taken. So I'm weak to water, so if I swap... There we go. Now... Gain two energy of the user's primary type. And lowest no, ally heals, that doesn't matter, but. Can I not use that? Or is that because it's grass, water? Didn't think of that. Blaze energy. So I really can't do much at the moment, which is unfortunate. Can do that in a burn. Oh, he's only got one monster there, so he, I can still attack the middle one with my top one here. Um, let's do that. Kentucky. About it. Okie dokie. Gain two volt energy. Then uh, I don't have my attack. Um, what can you do? You can do a, an attack with this. Ah, oh, that'll do. Okay, so the combat is obviously unique. So. You know, your, your Pokemon skills from back in the day probably won't carry over directly. You won. Now you can swap cards. Even though you can only swap five cards at a time, you can swap with someone as many times as you want. Okay. How do we swap? What, what are we swapping for? Parpelion. Uh, Bloom Heal. Poison spout, opposite spot inflicts two poison. Every three turns, gain one status immunity. So, what if I. 
grab those two. And I have to give him four value in my cards. So really, Right, I've got all these cards that I'm not using. Common, uncommon, and rare. Okay, these are all common. Let's do the swap. So I actually forgot what I got again, didn't I? <laughs> uh, was... Another couple of these. Oh, I can fill all these, they're optional, gotcha. Grab that one and grab those. There we go. Just completely fill the deck. Okay, at least now we should hopefully um, have enough energy for my electric fella. Opponent critters will get tougher as you advance through challenges. While their base stats increase, you will use sticker cards to power up your battle deck instead. Buy a mystery pack of cards. How much money have I got? Six. I can buy a pack. A boosty pack. Yes, please. Oh, here we go. We've got that uh, unboxing feeling here. Opening cards live on stream. Attack opposite critter for power plus one damage two times. Scary mask, a sticker. Every three turns, all enemy critters lose one power for three turns. Opposite spot inflicts two burn. And a sticker. Every turn, play one more card. That's cool, a shiny. So I need to put that in the battle deck. Which means I should get rid of maybe that one. So how do I find these stickers? Where are we? That sounds good. Ah, oh, no, they're all separate slots, gotcha. Okay, and I've got 15 sticker points, so I can actually put that in and put that in. Okay, so I didn't need to empty my deck, which is good. So if I go back here, I can pop that one back in. If I can find it. What was it? It was a... Quick shock. Okay. So we got some stickers going. That's good. Let's move on. Now we're into this boss battle with a water thing deck. Which is not good for my main fella. My wall ablaze. If you've gotten a hand of cards you can't use or just want to replace one, hold mouse to go on to discard and draw. Get rid of one hand card for a new one from your deck. Um, pretty good actually, I think. I do need to swap these two. Although he's weak to electricity. Hmm. I can play four cards now, which is nice. So maybe I can take him out quickly and then try and swap them. That's a status card, gives him shock. One more card. Let's do that and then swap. Beautiful. End the turn. So the Aguato. What do they do? They didn't actually hurt me. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I mean, it's not a weakness, but I can still still do some attacks. I'm going to put that shock spot on. I'm going to hit you with that. Pop that on there as well. Okay, they've swapped places. So their cat is attacking my Waller Blaze, which is damn rude. Um, I can pop some energy on him. I oh, can't use that. I thought to take them out. Attack all enemy critters. That's pretty good. Uh, and the energy is shared, I just noticed. It's not like attached to the card. It's just a pool. Choose energy to pay for this card. That's nice. Gives you a bit of a, a choice there. Uh, let's see. We should be able to get him now. So let's do this one. And that's it. Nice. Slowly getting the hang of it. Eight coins. Well done, you did it. That's the basics of playing through a challenge. When you're ready for the real thing, just let us know. There's all sorts of battle decks you can make depending on how you combine critter, skill, and sticky cards. So be sure to try all types of strategies. I look forward to seeing you for a proper nature challenge. See you later. Okay, let's get into the real stuff. Go for a challenge run. I think Dina is the only character available at this point in the demo. I'm going to choose our starter. Thorns is good. Burn is good. No defense though on this one. Every turn your critters heal. This one has a resist as well. A guetto. Um, see, thorns is good. Healing's good. I'll go the hangle in. Sounds good, let's go. Who've got here? Cassie. Grab your sunblock, we're off to the aqua beach. How confident are you? I'm not sure you'll beat me. Good one. Little handmade beach scene here. <laughs> okay, wild battle, gain a critter. I think we should start there. Get a pom bust. Alright. So I'm weak to fire, that's not ideal. I get a free energy here. I don't have any thorns yet. I've got one power. Better. Thorns time is two, that takes two energy though. This takes none. It's not great though, is it? And that's not going to be great either. Can I run away? <laughs> if they're smart enough to follow me down there, so they can hit me. Actually, probably won't make a difference because there's no other targets. You know, purely just have to out damage them. So I've got only one thorn now. I'll do six damage. Oh, these will do okay damage. I don't think I need to sacrifice my energy. I did one. Two, three, four, five, six, but they've only got two shields. How does that work? Not quite sure. Ah, oh, the benefit of moving is that this is a burn spot. Um, for hit the opposite critter. Right, so this one goes to burn. Oh, does that affect me as well? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I am going to then use a... No, I'm going to attack with this first. Should do this again. I'm going to attack with this one. 
but 2 HP left. I should outlast him. I hit my thorns. <laughs> Easy. So we got a Pombus and a Burn Spot. Oh no, yeah, that was the opposite spot inflicting two burns, so moving away was the right call. Let me check my deck here. I'm going to put him in the roster. Get some of his powers in, so. On the burn spot. A few energies. A few attacks. Okay. Battle, wild battle. I can get a glacier runt. What is that, a snowy rhino? <laughs> battle start every five turns, gain three defense for three turns. That's not bad. Alertle. In for taunt, which all enemy critters attack this critter. Interesting. Um, probably wouldn't mind having a water element to round us off. We'll give it a go. All this card art is just so uh, aesthetically like true to the, the old Pokemon. It just, I mean, the design's different, obviously, but it just gives that feeling, you know? Uh, what have we got here? Weak to fire, so you should stay out of the firing line. Okay, two blaze energy, that's probably a good idea. Can't really do much. But I don't think it's worth using a burn spot because he won't be in the right spot. We just have to do this. Hope he doesn't go up and uh, attack my Pombust. Healing drink and shield. Oh, he's going to be a pain. Alright, I'm going to gain nature, energy, and thorns. Good. Critters gain two soak and he'll attack me for three damage. We can live with that. Uh, thorns time two damage, that's pretty good actually. Can do it again. Oops. Yeah, nice. spot. <laughs> Same as the fire one, just with soak instead of burn. He has some resist as well. Okay. So, does that dilute my deck a bit too much, do we think? Having like three elements worth of uh, skills in here. I'm going to just to tidy these up a bit, I think. Yeah. We've got this uh, sad dog in the rain card. <laughs> uh, I'll grab a couple of those. Are there any skills you've got in water? Really? So you don't have the usual three. We don't actually have an attack. Okie dokie. So all he can do is really apply soak and potentially he's a good tank, I guess. Um, so I guess we'll leave some Additional energy cards for the other guy. There we go. 
Don't think I'm on another wild battle. Battle and swap when you win. Um, oh, and he's got water, so it's potential I could sort for some more water energy and get some useful cards for my new fella. That's the theory, anyway. We're up against Sailor the Bird. Scrap ore. Every attack opposite crit against two soak. He's going to use a nature echo attack and attack opposite critter for 10 damage if they have soak, otherwise, 7. Jesus. That's a bit uh, excessive. This is going to be brutal. Healing drink. Gain two energy of the user's primary type and then heal. If the opposite critter has soak, heal too. Okay. Uh, okay, we need... Let's do it this way, I think. Oh, he's moving. Not quite sure what the uh, thought process was there. too much here. We should have him. Maybe. No, one more turn. At least he wasn't uh, aggressive enough to go for my bomb bust because of that weakness. I'm sure it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I'm sure we could have handled it, but Get this over with, shall we? So we'll see what he wants to actually swap. A charge pup. All enemy critters lose one power for three turns. Can box. Every turn increase power by one. Critters heal defense plus one HP. All enemies gain defense plus one poison. Okay. Gain two blaze energy. Opposite crit against the burn. Still not finding a water. Don't mind this plaster actually. Every turn, all enemy spots inflict one shock. Except I need the water energy and electric energy, which I don't have in my deck. I think I'm just going to swap. Something. We're not going to use that. That gives me two sort value though, so I'm going to basically grab a free card here. Could just be a little heal. Maybe. Ah, oh, and now there's this worth three, of course. See how they get you. Uh, I'll choose one more. Cure debuffs could be good. More healing, maybe. Swap value five. It's happened again. That's not a common one. I'll grab it. It doesn't mean I have to use it, right? So. So I'm going to trade two cards, get that four value, and then we're even. Okay. Q 
Okie dokie. So this sticker, every five turns, all critters heal for five HP. You can absolutely take that. And then what skills do we get here? Plaster pack, which is a heal. Um, can't remember what else we got. Oh, it was a flash burn, which... That's probably not bad, actually. Might get rid of a psych up for a flash burn. Let's have a quick browse through here. I think that's it. Alright, we'll move on. We could go to the booster machine. I know I can't afford it. It costs five coins. I've got three. Gain this, gain this critter. Stud it. Stud it. Your creatures gain one set of immunity, you critters gain one dodge. Hmm. I'll leave that off now. I think I'll keep battling. This guy's a fire type. The fire officer. Um, so, obviously, don't want this guy out the front for this one. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna get a drizzle going. You're gonna get a psych up going. And you're gonna get a prickly going. So we've got a nice uh, bit of energy there waiting for us. Oh, don't do that. Ouch. Hmm. Chuck on a free energy there. We got one thorn. Three damage. Oh, that just completely blocked it. That was pointless. Um, right. So these ones were the opposite spot and flicks to burn. They. They're persistent. I thought it would follow him, but no, it's just wherever you've played the card. That's good to know. Um, really don't have the firepower for this, do we? Could gain that. And then, what will that do? Three damage, nothing. 12 damage, that'll be a nice hit. damage as well. Let's do this. We'll use up grass. Did we five damage or should we give him some burn? Explodes at five burn dealing five damage. Probably not worth it. I'll just whack him. It's just burnt all of us, that's concerning. Uh, okay. Thorns times two. That's a good hit. Okay, we should have him in a turn or two. I think we'll make it out of this all right. Oh, unless he does that. Uh, we do have a opportunity to heal, but I don't think that's necessary. I don't understand this. Attack opposite critter for power damage. Are these not my powers? Why do I only have three damage? I don't get it. Pointless. May as well heal. I do have 10 uh, thorns. That might be my saving grace here if he attacks me. Yep. Let's see what he has to swap. 
Okay, water shield, one defense for three turns. That could be okay. Another pom bust. Attack opposite crit of defense plus seven damage. User loses defense plus two HP. Mind blast, attack all enemy critters for power plus eight damage. That's crazy. A sticker every three turns, all enemy critters lose one power for three turns. I mean, that's fine. It's a common one. It doesn't have a common one. Oh, yes, it does. A bomb bust, I guess. Just to check, it's not different to mine, is it? No, it's identical. Okay, what can we trade? No, it's not a common. Why is my assault value three now? Or is it this plus one and this plus one now? Right. See cards again. So that equals three. That equals three. Wonderful. All right, let's apply our sticker. So every three turns, all enemy critters lose one power for three turns. That's just a nice little debuff for them. Um, skills. So water shield, you want to sneak in there. So I might get rid of nature attack and put the shield in. Beautiful. All right, there is a booster machine. There is a shop. Jeez, what the... A fossil. 50 HP. When hit, attacker loses one power for three turns. Now that's a tank. Gain two Terra energy, gain one defense for three turns. Jeez. 50 HP. He does get defense though, which is probably... He's just 1-1, one, one, so he's literally just going to sit there and soak up the damage, whereas my guy can heal and add to his defense. So I might leave him for now. Let's go see what's in the shop. <clears throat> what have we got here? Star right. A few different creatures there. More stickers could be good. Okay. Battle starting every five turns, all enemy critters gain two shock. That'll just slowly do damage as they play skill cards. A shield battery. Uh, your critter's defense increases by one. On stat change. Okay. And another plug. Can I buy two plugs and use them both? I'm going to buy them all. Because I believe I have room to use them all. Okay. So the battle will start, and every five turns, all enemy critters will gain four shock, which is uh, going to be a nuisance for them. Okay, so that refreshes our cards here. A rival battle with a tough fight, a unique battle, tough fight. Wild battle. Critter. I don't think I'm ready for a tough fight yet with a uh, rival battle. I'll keep just working on my deck, I think. Miazical. Okay, no one's weak to him. He's not weak to us. He's going to use a Volt Attack and opposite spot gains one round of debuff. That's annoying. I'm going to use Drizzle. Give everyone some defense, I suppose. Three damage, three damage. We're not doing much at all. Six damage.
Okay. Oh, he's taunted me, so he'll always target this guy. That's perfectly fine with me. Blaze energy, burn him. I don't have any thorns, so that's no good for me. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to swap, and i use this one. And that'll slowly burn him if he stays there. Smack him with that, slowly chipping away. Attack opposite critter for 8 damage. We can take it. What the? They moved down, but the opposite creature was up here. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'll just pop that on. Give us all some defense. Do I have an attack? I do. Okie dokie. I don't even know what he did then. He poisoned this fella. Uh, let's see. Actually, do any direct damage to him this time. I suppose I'll just build on my thorns and hope he attacks me. Oh, he's dead? Okay. Didn't actually see that coming. Um, Alright. I'm probably not going to use him, but it's good to have him. Can uh, Vox. Prickle Lurge. When hit, attack against two poison. And a spiky spot. That's interesting. I'm tempted to go for this just for the healing drink. Healing and energy. Could be a nice addition to the deck. Not necessarily the monster, but just his little power card. Or skill card, I should say. Alright, he's weak to grass, so let's... Focus on this. Alright, so he's just buffing himself, really. Now we'll start attacking. Okay, thorns times two... And power. Okay. It's a bit of an unfair three on one fight, but uh, I'm not going to have any issues here, I don't think. that healing drink straight to the deck. That'll do. Uh, boss battle. Uh-oh. This is it. Cassie looks absolutely savage. Okay, we've got two water creatures. Opposite critter loses two power for three turns. When hit, your other critters heal two HP. Holy moly. And they're both 50 HP. Plus. That is a bit concerning. Right. 
two blaze energy. I'm going to turn that into a burn spot, so that'll slowly burn away. Still bugger all damage, but... Okay, they can both get some burn going. Hmm. Two more blaze energy and some burn. No water energy, of course. I can uh, replace, can't I? There we go. I've got no thorns anyway, so that's pointless. So I sort of have to do that. Do it again. There we go. What are they doing? Might be a strife here. I just really don't have a deck that can do a lot of damage. Um, okay, that healed him. That's good. Um, What's the best thing to do here? Four damage or gain thorns. I suppose I'll just chip away the damage, really. Hmm. Okay, now do that. I'm going to add some thorn damage, smack him, and burn him. Oof. Need some water energy, I think. I'm going to use this first. A shield up as well. Healing drink. Okay. So he's on the he's very close to being defeated, so hopefully we can survive one more turn. Positive. Going to attack with this one. Okay, he's out. Got one to focus on now. Free nature energy is good. Uh, two nature energy, two thorns. Or should I just attack? Thorns are probably my best bet at doing damage. I'm just going to test something. If I move him here and he just attacks where he sits. Okay. He burnt through some of my thorns, but I did a fair chunk of damage to him, which is nice. Um, I can heal. I can soak. Should great gain some defense. Um, you doing there? Healing drink. Okay, I can handle that. Gain two nature energy, two thorns. Actually, I'm going to use this first. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this first because that'll give me the thorns and then I'll attack them even more. Okay. We might get through this. Okay. 
the little five puppies gone. Didn't really have the thorns to do any damage there, so I just thought I'd go the defensive play. If we survive long enough to uh, be able to do a bit more damage. Okay, can build the thorns up again now. Trying to survive. <laughs> Just trying to survive him because he'll be healing and shielding as well. Just trying to survive until I can do some decent damage. Alright, there's our thorns. There's our prick leaves. Could be it. Ooh, two health left. Victory, eight coins. What have you got to swap with me? Cory Dusty. Every three turns, your crit is kill one debuff. Sounds cool. Barpelion. Pretty tough. Six damage, four block, and 40 health. When hit, attack again, one burn. Look at that thing's face. <laughs> Fair enough. Attack opposite credit for five to 12. Another thorny vine. Poison. Burn up. Oh, good attack, but give yourself burn. Attack opposite critter for power plus nine damage if the user has dodge. We're getting into some real uh, synergy sort of cards here. Every turn, play one more card. Holy moly. Swap value eight. <laughs> yeah, we'll swap. Uh, sticker, I've got 6 out of 15 used, so I should have room for all of these. A heal booster. Passively, all my healing is 1 HP better. Uh, and a vitamin drink. Play one more card every turn. Do I just get the two? Yeah. Aren't all the flowers at the nature park great? Let's put the pedal to the nettle and see how great you are. Alright, moving on to the next area. Interesting, so I wonder how far this demo goes. But I think we'll have to find out next time, because this video has been going for quite a while now, so I think I might have to wrap it up. Um, this is a good first look at this game. It's a interesting concept, I like it. It's, it's uh, unique enough to be its own thing, but still obviously... Uh, really appeals to the uh, nostalgic uh, Pokemon card trading from back in the schoolyard days. So that's a <laughs> it's a nice little feature, nice little uh, aspect to it, I suppose. And and this whole having the trading cards in a folder, as I said earlier, you know, I've got a folder like this in my shed at the moment, full of Pokemon cards. So this is really just uh, hitting me right uh, 
right in the nostalgia, <laughs> really. Uh, so it's good. Uh, I will put a link to this game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The demo is available now. The full game is out on the 28th of September. And uh, it's just a damn good time. Give it a try. Chuck it on your wish list if it interests you to follow it and keep up to date when it releases. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I'm always looking for new and upcoming indie games to cover. So if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.